there Cancer, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive reading for September 28th through to October the 4th. Cancer, let's see what's on the cards for you. Beginning with the Work Your Light Oracle. Let's see what those are overarching messages or themes may be for the week. For Cancer. Whoa, look what I've got turning over here. Well, I've got two. Uh, I'm, there was another one hiding behind the one, so we'll do this one first. I'm not going to say the uh, <clears throat> all of the names here just because YouTube censoring, but you know, seeing the light, laying foundations, divine plan. You know, it really say it's actually sorry, it's seeding the light. It really says that you know maybe the stars are aligning. There's some divine orchestration at play here, and the next card, the one that I actually saw, was yes. Just say yes. Yes, the divine plan is coming together. Yes, you are seeding the light and yes, you are laying new foundations. So if you did come to this reading, Cancer, with a question in mind, the answer could be yes. And the key with this card is um, don't overthink it and get sort of all caught up in the overanalyzing in the, in the mental kind of intellectual state. Sometimes we just need to feel into it and feel if it's right for, for us. Is it in alignment? You will know. It's kind of like a green light to go, like the sun card. Let's see what comes out. It's pulling your yogic path card now. Karma. <laughs> okay, this is getting interesting. So I'm going to read this out, guys. I don't know, like, I mean, obviously I know what karma is, but I just like to see what the what the message is. Karma, the sum of one's actions. Positive karma. You have done a lot of good on this planet and the universe is rewarding you in her favours. Life feels a little easier, a little more colourful and a little more beautiful. You are walking towards your dharma, your purpose, which creates the greatest karma you can experience. By saying yes <laughs> to the purposeful soul, or the purpose of your soul, you are saying yes to the greater power of the universe. Well, isn't that interesting how it ties into the yes card? You're saying yes to your purpose, to your divine plan. That is your karma. Cancer. Let's get out the tarot story. Beginning with the energy of the recent past. <laughs> Lovers. Okay. Let's get out the current or focused energy. For cancer. Oh, I've got the nine of... Oh, I've actually got three cards. I'm taking them all because I think they're all relevant. I've got the Nine of Wands, the Chariot, and the Hierophant. <laughs> now, that says moving ahead to what is in alignment for you. Empress at the bottom. Let's get out your near future outcome energy. Moving ahead at pace. Wow, Cancer. Okay, well, let's, let's clarify. Clarifying the lovers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't think I have ever seen this before, Cancer. The lovers clarified with the lovers. Of course, that amplifies their energy even more. Six and six, you know, that number of joy, love, and harmony and healing is double there. Wow, this is really quite a powerful little reading, I think. Let's clarify the middle ones. Let's just say that. Call them the middle ones because there's not enough time to say them all now. Three of Pentacles. And clarifying that Knight of Swords for you. Page of Swords and the Four of Swords. Okay. I've got the Knight of Cups at the bottom of this deck. I wasn't going to include the uh, bottom of the deck energies, but um, <laughs> because I finished the other one on the Knight of Cups as well, and now it's at the bottom of both decks, I'm going to say that we're including it. Double Knight of Cups, 
double lovers. It really feels like there is some uh, partnership kind of energy here, but I'm not going to read it specifically in that direction here. What I'm really feeling here is some key decisions coming up in your life. Um, cancer to move ahead with your divine plan to move closer to your Dharma your life's purpose here right and you know the lovers here double lovers in in the recent past for some of you it could be in love and relationships for sure with this reading however also you know before it was just you know soulmates and twin flames the lovers was a card of decision making big decisions around a matter of the heart so I think some of you guys are facing a really, really, really big decision there with the lovers that's been upon you for a while. It is the card of Gemini. We've got the Knight of Swords, which is Gemini as well. Um, there could be a, a Gemini that's really fundamental in the situation for some of you. I'm going to jump into the middle cards because I feel like for me, this is the fact that you've been sitting in the decision making process. What you desire is more of that number six energy, joy, love, harmony and balance in your life. And I feel like it relates to these cards here. We've got plenty of cards here. Nine of Wands, the Chariot, the Hierophant, and the Three of Pentacles. So pretty much I could put the Nine of Wands here, I feel. You've been sitting in this for a while, right? I'm actually pick it up to read it. You've been sitting in the Nine for a while. There's something that needs to be decided on because the decision has been weighing on you heavily. It is the Ten Wands, you know, it's the stress, the tension, or, you know, when we're just sitting in indecision, you know, that's what can kind of keep us a little bit stuck. When we're in indecision, often we can't see the pathways that are opening up for us. So it's time to make that big decision. Hey, what is it? Well, it's a general reading, guys. You'll know what it is for you, but I do know what it relates to. It relates to your life's purpose, your dharma. We've got the Hierophant here. Like the Hierophant is a really, you know, it's a big spiritual card. I think for me, it's really standing for this, this alignment with purpose. Because with the Hierophant, they talk about values. See the two keys down there. We've got the key of the past, you know, living up to society's expectations, um, you know, living out our, our, our family's values that were passed down to us or from that from lovers and relationships, all of that kind of thing. And there comes a time in your life, the number five, the point of change, where we wake up and go, oh, actually, those values aren't my values. That's not my dharma. I really want to live in alignment with my dharma and that is the key here that is the, the key of the future and that stands for your own personal values and awakening and your own divine purpose it's time to now step onto your own divine plan you know and align with that and yes that's when things will move forward a lot more have faith it could be something to do with spirituality but really the hierophant for me says that you're stepping further onto your spiritual path the one that was laid out for you before you came to this life and I really feel that that awakening is what's going to propel you forward here cancer at pace right the chariot <laughs> you know this is your card the chariot is about moving forward it's about potentially leaving a comfort zone or a sense of home and for me that sense of home is the the values of the old you know what has been comfortable for you up until now until this awakening that you know maybe your dharma lies somewhere else or that you need to actually shed that skin in order to move on to it you know once you're in that firm alignment the, de the decision that needs to be made here whatever it is to move on from something to let something go you know that is the moment that the sphinxes come into alignment and you can propel forward at pace because they can stand for the being in two minds, the indecisions, and they're pointing in different directions. So they're going to take this chariot all over the place. But once you make that decision and pull things into line, you're off. You're claiming your victory. The victory is getting online to your divine plan so that you can achieve your dharma. Three of pentacles, you know, laying a new foundation. Um, this is about learning and development. This is about creating what is it that you're here to create start taking the steps to make it solid to make it tangible work with other people if you need to use the lessons of the past but that's what all of this says to me it's really really powerful there cancer so you're moving closer to purpose i think you've had that theme sort of 
popping up for a little while. Right. <laughs> All the swords. Knight of swords, page of swords, four of swords. First message that's coming through, you know, we talked about the yes card. Don't overthink it, just say yes. This is all mental energy here. So we need to make sure that we don't get stuck up in the mind of overanalyzing, oh, I can't go that way, I couldn't do that. That's my life's purpose to be a tarot reader. My goodness. Hey, I understand guys, I've come from, you know, the corporate digital media industry and I am now reading tarot. And potentially pretty close to doing that full time. And what I've had to journey to do that cancer is so much, you know, why lose my credibility and what's my friends and family going to think of me, you know, <laughs> but you know, there's a deeper part of me that's always known that I'd end up doing something like this. If I was to sit and overthink it, yeah, I would, I would be sabotaging this for sure. So we need to feel into the heart. What is your Dharma? What is your divine gifts and stepping in and using those? Hey, you might need to take a moment of pause, page of swords, sorry, four of swords. You might need to take a moment of stillness in order for the next um, part of your strategy to be revealed for you. And this is the ace of swords over here and it's the person that pauses, steps out of the mind and, and takes that moment of stillness and drops into the heart that, you know, can have the breakthrough of the Ace of Swords, which really is that, you know, new battle plan to forge ahead being revealed, right? There's a big sense of the winds of change turning here for you with the Page of Swords. Um, you know, the Page of Swords can be the, the first parts of progress. It's kind of like that little breeze that blows to get the wind in the sails to move you on, an, on your course, your true course towards your divine purpose. And then I feel it reaches a point where it's like, full steam ahead, fast progress. And I guess the, um, the, the message with the Knight of Swords is just to pace yourself. Yeah, I think you've sat in that decision for a long time, but as soon as the floodgates open and you're like stepping onto your, onto your new path, do pace yourself because I think you're going to get very excited, but we can be a little bit hasty when the Knight of Swords comes into the reading and come a bit unstuck. So that is a message for some of you. Now to address these knights that are hanging out over the side, what am I seeing here? Well, I really feel like this is the, the message that, you know, your, your fulfillment on an emotional level is attached to this. I'm seeing the Eight of Cups peeking up here too. There goes the tower. I really feel that this journey has been the missing piece that you've been looking for and that you are walking away from whatever hasn't fulfilled you on a deeper level. And it's saying here that those, those missing pieces are going to start to be magnetized towards you, whatever that is, um, whether it's deeper fulfillment in your work, whether it's you know a partner coming in or, or your current relationship going to the next level. It says that the emotional fulfillment will come in once you're on your path of Dharma, once you're being authentic to yourself you know, once you are living in alignment with your true values, once you are lining up more closely to the divine plan for you, that's when you become attractive and magnetic and that's when other opportunities um, to really emotionally fulfill you start coming into your life as well, Cancer. It's kind of exciting stuff. I, I really am loving this reading for you, Cancer. I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the best with it this week. Do keep in mind it is a general reading for the collective, but I really feel that on the collective, there's many people journeying this um, stepping onto path of purpose at the moment. Feel free to leave me a comment if you're called to share, guys. I do read them all and try and respond to as many as I can. It helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies. And I will see you back here next week for another message.